Hello everybody, this is the Black Fox back again and I'm going to have a look at a pumpkin farm. Um, the pumpkin farm is a little bit different to the rest because uh, one reason is like the wheat farm, it's 15 by 15 blocks and the pumpkin farm is the same as the tree farm, it's only 13 by 13. Now there's one other thing too, the pumpkin farm creates two rows five wide and 13 long so it's got a three rows in the center all the way across which is actually nothing in it now the thing is that to figure out which way it's going to go I've marked out the middle of my pumpkin patch put down the power, power cord gold uh, power power uh, line and I put this on top of it and one thing you notice that same like uh, in the wheat one, the farm is actually level with the ground, that's where how it makes the block. But the pumpkin farm, for some reason, is one up. Now, if you look around, you'll see a face on it. One face, only on one side. Now, I told you it's going to keep a row clear in the middle, actually, it's three wide. So, it's going to keep it three wide going that way. If you look at the face, it's going to go that way. Right, so we've got to work out according to that. Right, so, well, it would help if I had a shovel, wouldn't it? Um, let's see. Forget the basic tools. Um, shovel. Thank you. Right, so. Oh. I like going two down. Um, of course, you've got two units. You've got the, the farm itself, and then you need the harvester. Oh, I could give a hundred one cows that. And then it gives you, then you go for the harvester. Right, which is, whoops, which is right there. Oh. <coughs> okay, now, do is I've got a couple of new pipes too, I've, I've started using. One of them is Insertion pipe, it's a new one. Oh, what have we got here? Okay, like usual, I put the, the directional pipe on there. Now, insertion pipe. Now, what that does, it, when the seeds come up here, it actually tells it to go in there unless it's full. Where the other way I had it before, I just had the cobble pipe. And that will pick every second or third one to go in if there was a room. But this one does it to every one of them. So seeds come up here. This thing says, "Well, I'm not full yet. He's not full yet. Get in there. If it's full, go past." Right, as simple as that. Um, and of course, I've got uh, directional pipe now. When you create this, you create it with a. Um, Stone pipe, you have a stone pipe on either end, like you do with normal pipes, a glass one in the middle, and a red stone on top. Now, because you're using stone, it's actually a stone pipe, so you've got to attach a stone pipe in it, or one that allows different pipes to be attached, like the directional pipe, or the diamond pipe. So, um, the next thing I'll put a directional pipe on this one, the same as usual, and Cobblestone going out. Right. Now we put the pipes going back to. Ah. Back over here. Um. I'm not the See how that works out. 
I like putting it still too down, even though it's up in the air, I could, could go one down, but you can't cover them, so I still like the idea of being able to cover them. Yep. Now this is not a new little one. I need a new pipe power pipe. Actually a switch. We finally got a switch. We can turn these ones on off. Look at that. Isn't that excellent? Right, so now we've got to bring these two pipes back down. I don't want to both up that way. So now we've got cobblestone. Okay. That one, um, I like to get in the habit of using different pipes because they don't mix so it makes the shot a lot easier to organise. Okay, we've got our three pipes. Now we've got this set up and we better put the directional pipes in the direction we want it to go. That way. And that wants to go up. That one goes down. Right. Now, what we've got to stick in there is we need our seeds. Our dirt. Now, this uses a fair bit of dirt, so we've got to create a system for um, putting dirt into, but we'll just start off with this bit and we'll. Okay, we'll connect the dime pipe up to that because we get the pumpkins out of there. And with the pumpkins, what we're going to need is an automotive crafting table. Because we want the pumpkins to turn into seeds. So we've got an automatic crafting table to cover that. Okay, we've got our automated crafting table down. Now what we've got to do now is put a extraction pipe on there. Stick a motor on there. Give it a redstone motor to off to start working. I'll put it on this side. Right. So we've got pumpkin coming through there. And we better tell that pipe that is that red? Yep. That we want the pumpkin to go in there. Right. And from there we go to our chest. From there we go to our chest, so we've got pumpkin coming in there, get turned to seeds going in there. Right, from there, what I'm going to use next is an advanced extraction pipe. Right, so we use an advanced, advanced extraction pipe. And from there we go to And seeds back down. So the cobblestone pipe, the stone pipe, bring it here, goes in, cobblestone out. We go out, through there, turn the seeds, 
Now what we do here, we got a lot of motor on there, and we'll stick our famous sequencer on there. And if you don't know about, whoops, that was a bit silly. Um, if you don't know why I use a sequencer, the reason I use a sequencer is that it allows one seed to come out, have a gap, and then next seed. And what that does is puts a gap in between and only puts a certain amount of seeds in the pipe at any one time, so what's left over stays in the chest. So the time it takes for one seed to go all the way around, then you've got to get another one. It doesn't allow a bunch of seeds or more seeds than what is already traveling in the pipe. Like you'll only get a certain amount because the size of the gap, you can work out the size of the gap, how many gaps that is, and that's the amount of seeds that actually travel back and forth. Now, the reason I use a sequencer and not a timer is because as soon as you notice the sequencer, it turns it on. When it gets the next one, then turns it off. So it's on for a little bit of time. That gives enough time for for the motor to actually kick off. The timer gives one quick pulse and then moves on. And that quick pulse isn't quite long enough to initiate the actual motor. So that's why I use a sequencer. Now the other thing is this new advanced um, pipe you actually can choose what's going to come out of the chest. So I'm going to choose that, the seeds, so it will only pull seeds out of the chest. And I'll show you the reason why afterwards, but uh, for now, let's so we'll pull the seed out of there. Now what I've done is I've actually, uh, I wanted to try something, so I've actually emptied this out and put it all back here. Now what I wanted to try, because the pumpkin pump actually goes through some dirt, so I'm going to do, I'm going to say, say that to the dirt too, and hopefully it'll put the dirt in the right place. Now we'll turn the power on. We think, oh, we forgot one major thing. Right, now, everything else that we don't want like the sand uh, and all that sort of thing Whoa. right another thing too Ooh, I forgot something haven't I right. I forgot something I gotta move this. They always stuff up somewhere along the line, but if you don't stuff up, you don't think and all that sort of thing. So, what I forgot is I've actually got to put another one of these spots on there. That's where I went wrong. Right? The um, insertion part. So, it says for the chest. there if the chest is full we're gonna have some of the seeds to go don't we and don't forget that green insertion pipe is actually a cobbled oh, it's actually a stone pipe so so cut the seeds come up here so we'll yep the chest is full so we've got to go that way and this pipe here we'll go to back to our main place. Oh I'll come to the game we need that light. Advanced 
Pop back on here. Sorry about that, but nothing ever seems to work perfect. So what what's this doing? It's turning it into seeds. Seeds go in there. If that's full, they've got to go through there. And it's gonna go down to afterwards where I'm gonna try to get these farms to actually work on their own power supply. So the XX seeds and that will be going down there from from this one and from those two so far and creating um, oil. Oil to fuel the motors, the biogas motors and that means the motors be actually running from the farm so hopefully it's fully sustainable. That's my my goal but let's see how we go. Now we've got all this set up. Now let's see. I was going to put one third. Let's see. Let's see how we go. <coughs> now, the, like I said, the pumpkin farm actually uses quite a bit of soil, so uh, every now and again you've got to top it up with soil. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'm going to start off with that as well. Might be a bit too many. Um, let's do that. So it takes them, then it takes seeds. Oh, sugar. I've just noticed something. I've filled that too close to that, haven't I? One, two, three, four, five. I have to. Okay, after fixing it, I'll just settle in the stake. I'm having that too close that way. As you can see, I sort of I moved it over a couple. That's all I've done. Exactly the same, just moved over. <coughs> now, the reason I've, I've put the dirt in the chest here to show you that um, the dirt. <coughs> the dirt and the seeds will hopefully go in the right place because this one actually uses uh, a fair bit of dirt after a while so we've got to create a system from the bottom where we can send up some dirt what it needs to uh, keep it going keep replacing the dirt okay now we'll just wait until it goes down. Might help. Just might. How are we going? So we get dirt in.
Okay, just a moment ago it uh, took down another pumpkin from there. And we're just waiting for it to come through here. Come on, pumpkin. There you go, there's a pumpkin. Okay. Here comes the pumpkin. Hopefully we'll go into the automotive um, crafting table. Yep, there it goes in the crafting table. When it comes out the other side, there's four seeds. Like anyone, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Four seeds. So then it just brings out one seed at a time. Now, as far as I sort of guess, is that these seeds don't actually need to replace. The only time you need to replace it is if uh, someone breaks one or you get one of those exploding creatures after you and it blows far, far away. So it will replace itself. So um, there goes another pumpkin now. Anyway, um, so just in case of those four things, um, we put the seeds back through. And the other thing is too, we're going to eventually, hopefully, end up automating the dirt system because it does replace the dirt. And brings out sand. See, there's a block of sand. See, the dirt's gone down to 63. No, oh, it's gone back to 64. That's interesting. Oh, it's still getting dirt in. But anyway, yeah, so... And there you have it, a pumpkin farm. Right, so seeds come out, they go down there. A uh, pumpkin comes out, they could convert the seeds, seeds go in there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, because this chest is just like a stopping place, we don't need to fill the whole chest up with seeds. So, what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to fill all those up and just leave two spaces. You can even do one, but two spaces will do. So we'll fill up those two places with uh, seeds, and what's ever left over will send back to our central unit, which is actually a chest at the moment, but eventually we'll be changing to something else. Uh, uh, converting plants and all that sort of thing, because we need the seeds to make the, the fuel to run the, the motors. Right. <coughs> so, uh, yep, that's it so far. Now, the reason I can put the sand blocks in it because of the advanced extraction pipe. It'll only take this soil and seeds, nothing else, so those blocks will stay in there. Anyway, that's the pumpkin farm for you. I left it running for so long, um, usually you put the the seeds and the dirt in there to start off with, but I just want to see what happens, so I let it go, and you can see how much sand you actually got out of it. So it makes you wonder if you don't put seeds in there, will you get a whole bunch of sand back? Oh, that's an interesting thought, anyway, for, for another try next time. Well, anyway, have fun playing Minecraft, and this is the automatic pumpkin farm for you. Bye for now.